My kayak duck hunting setup has shifted and changed throughout the years as I've tested and refined my approach. I've got two primary ways that I use my kayak for duck hunting. The first one's pretty plain and simple. It's just using it to get to the spot. I don't gotta rig it up any fancy way really, just enough to hold my gear so I can get there, set up, and hide the kayak. The other one is when I've got it decked out like this and I'm actually hunting from my kayak. This is my favorite way to use a kayak for duck hunting. So let's walk through my setup for this duck season. As you can tell, I've got my light, it's dark. I gotta see where I'm going. Number one, just be able to see my spot. Number two, safety reasons. I've also got nav lights on the sides, my red and green on the correct sides so I can flip a switch and the boat can tell that I'm headed at it and which side, which direction I'm actually going. Absolutely need those. Legally, you need those anyways, but especially if you're on a waterway with other boats that could potentially run you over because number one kayaks are really hard to see in general and just forget about it at night or early morning when there's no light at all you need to be seen so we'll move on to the back i've got a hatch here that holds some stuff it kind of keeps some of the water out so if it needs to stay dry i can put that right here and then underneath it i've actually got my battery where I store my battery up here and I can run all my wires back to my trolling motor, back to everything and run the lights off of. So battery's hidden out of the way, but yet it's still easy enough to get to if I need to get to it. We'll move on back a little bit further. I've got my shotgun mounts. This is how I travel with it. I don't typically leave my shotgun right here while I'm hunting. I like to have it in my lap, you know, across where it's just a lot easier to grab, pull up and shoot. Whereas this way I end up getting it caught on something. If birds come in, they surprise me and it's just more frustrating to leave Leave it right here so really this mount is just to get to and from the spot that way i don't have it at my feet one thing i would recommend is using a floating case i've got one for this this is just me playing around testing it today but i've actually got a floating case that i'll use this that way if i do flip if it does happen to hit a wave weird and come out i'm not going to watch my shotgun sink to the bottom of the lake whether i'm coming home from a hunt or I'm headed to hunt, losing your shotgun is not a good day. So as we move back a little bit more, you'll notice that I've actually got a hardcore running gun blind bag set up here. There's other brands that work just as well, but it's basically just a backrest so I can be pretty comfortable. I use this thing from hunting in fields to kayak hunting just because it's that comfortable it's pretty compact and it doubles as a decoy bag or a gear bag we'll take it off and i've got my seat here i've actually got a 360 swivel seat but i like this bench seat because it's a little more compact it's out of the way and when the blinds on it it doesn't stick up and flare off a bunch of birds and then at the back here there's actually a compartment that unzips and I can get my dog in and he'll set right here. If I'm not running with my dog, I'll keep all my gear back here. I typically want a waterproof backpack because number one, this kayak just holds more water than I like, but also I'm in and out of the kayak. It's gonna get wet. So when kayak hunting, I highly recommend getting a full waterproof backpack or at the very minimum, you want that bottom two inches waterproof just to protect all your gear. Because over the years I've ruined some shells just by them setting in the water and I didn't realize it. All right, last but not least is my trolling motor. This is a nice to have accessory. I used to run a gas powered mud motor, but after running it for a while, I just realized I didn't like it for several reasons. So I switched back to the trolling motor. So it gets me everywhere I need to go. I can't complain about it. And that's why I plan on using this till it falls apart. So if you're curious as to why I quit using my mud motor, you can check out this video right here to discover every reason I absolutely hate it. And I can't wait to see you there.